hello everyone it's been a while since i sat down to actually film a sit down video talking about stuff that interests me that's why i'm so excited to be here today and today i'm going to be sharing with you the pros and the cons of studying in canada as an international student majority of my perspective would come from being a nigerian but i'm sure that people from other countries as well will find the video helpful without further ado let's get right into the video actually wait if you're seeing me for the first time my name is Taiwa Jai and I like to share about my life in Canada my faith and sometimes my natural hair so come on board by subscribing to my channel click that subscribe button just click it like this nothing will happen <laughs> and you'll get to see me on your screen often and often that's not bad right so actually 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 now let's get right into the video I am done with my first year of school in Canada and so I'm gonna have some tangible um, experiences or knowledge to share in that regard but note that I am not a licensed immigration consultant I'll start by talking about the pros of studying in Canada as an international student and then work my way to the cons you know let's start with the good things so pros of studying in Canada the first one would be the education quality um, the quality of education in Canada is really good. I'm speaking for myself. Um, I think that it's such a beautiful learning environment. The professors are good. Most of them are. They want you to, to do well. They really care about, about your education and they care about your success. And so they will create their slides, beautiful slides most of the time. They would always want you to ask questions. If you have questions, they, would, they are so interested right in your success now i had a good experience in nigeria myself the university where i did my undergrad in nigeria was a good university or let me speak for my department i had really good lecturers um, in terms of quality of education and in terms of the welfare of the students as well they were pretty you know interested in, in your success as well but I know that it's not the same everywhere. So I would say that coming here made me see just how much more, you know, is possible in terms of education quality. The modules are detailed. The professors give you enough materials to work with as well. You can always walk up to them, go to their office hours, talk to them about anything. Are you having issues with your course? Do you have questions? Do you not understand something? And that I found very helpful. And so at the end of even just one year, you have a deep knowledge of the subject matter. And I think that's very important. Very, very important. Number two, they have a structured system. And I love that so much. I'll give an example. My sister and I needed to do a change of program. And you just have to, you know, go on the website, apply for a change of program, put the reason why you want to change your program. Uh, you know, you know, you know, and you are done. Yeah? <laughs> Listen, in certain places, it's not that straightforward. It's not that easy. It's not that, you know, structured, right? So I really love that about them. Um, things are structured to a certain degree when you write exams you can expect your grades in you know little time you just go online and check it as well you don't need to you know bother yourself going to the lecturer's office physically there are so many things that you can get done online without having to walk into a physical office space and i really love that that structure is is just is just perfect to be number three i'd say that studying in canada as an international student broadens your exposure i feel like you're exposed to so much diversity here in canada and it makes you think wide you're exposed to many cultural differences because you meet a lot of people from different countries in canada canada is so big that there are so many people from different places i have a friend who is Ghanaian. i have a friend who is from south sudan i have a friend from canada and so meeting different people from different spheres of life tends to widen your exposure in a way it helps you to expand your network helps you to just you know know how things are done in certain places in certain areas there are people that are even from other provinces that you get to learn things from because things are done differently in their province even though they are in canada and i really i really really love that about it number four would be that after study you are eligible to apply for work permits if you study if you study for one year you get one year 
work permit but if you do your masters for one year you are eligible for up to three years of work permit if you study maybe a um maybe a diploma course for two years you're eligible for three years as well so like it's just it just makes so much sense that if you are spending a lot of money coming to study here after studies they allow you to integrate yourself into the system for a little while you know just get to work in that field in the country that you've studied i think i really love that about studying in canada and so yeah that's that's a pro that is a pro and the last thing that i will talk about um under the pro of studying in canada would be that you are able to bring your family, um, your immediate family, if you want to. Uh, there are so many people in Canada who are married, who came with their spouse. If you are a woman, you come with your husband and their partners are eligible for work permit, like open work permit. There's somebody in my workplace who works there and he works full time. His wife is the one on a study, study permit. Um, visa and so she is here she's going to school and her husband is working full-time i love that also you can bring your children and i think it's a really good thing of course everything that i've mentioned will probably have the rules or things that you need to follow or maybe things that you need to maybe your proof of fund will be higher you know and all of that stuff there'll be all of that just do your research and find out oh what do i need to do to do this what do i need to not do to do this but essentially it is possible and i think that it's i think studying in canada overall is it's not a bad thing i think it's a good thing and i think it's it's worth it now let us move on to the bad things let's talk about the cons of studying in canada um, as an international student first of all it is expensive and i dare say that it is unfairly expensive like i mean i get it you know many people talk about how that or the people who reside here you know they've been paying tax and everything so when people will come from foreign countries come here they shouldn't pay the same thing that the people who live here do i get it i do however i feel like there are some schools that are too expensive like the international tuition are too expensive and i find it unfair um it's just it just feels really weird you're paying so much money compared to the domestic applicants if you want to come to canada to study be ready to spend a lot of money on your tuition just the tuition alone is a lot of money but even the visa process itself is a lot of money like you are paying for this one paying for this one application fee that one and uh, this one that one and uh, biometrics and uh, medical fee like ugh. also like Feeding is expensive, rent is expensive, like <laughs> it's just a lot of money, a lot of money because it's not like oh after you've already paid your tuition you are free, you are not, in fact you can never be, <laughs> you're still going to pay for rent, you're still going to pay for feeding and feeding is getting increasingly expensive in Canada, like very expensive, like it's just so, it's just so, it is well number two it is cold in canada i'm sure you've heard this like so many times um it is cold um however there are some provinces that are not as cold as some other provinces also i feel like if you dress properly um during the winter i feel like you'll do fine um it's not that bad in my opinion it is cold that is a given it is very cold but i feel like if you properly kit up yourself if you dress properly for the weather you do fine on some days it will be very cold extremely cold like no matter how you dress on some days it will be you do just fine also if you have a car if you get here and you maybe you bring your license from your country and you do your road test immediately and you're able to get a car it's way easier for you because the only cold you're exposed to is probably when you are walking to your car but every other thing you're in your car the eater is probably on and everything and everything so i think it's it's not bad um if you have a car if you don't have a car you just want to make sure that <laughs> your house is not too far from your school because if it's far ah hey oh wow are you just try to you know just look for a house in a location that is central kind of as close to your school close to your workplace close to the malls 
close to your church and to be honest i don't want you to think it's not possible it is possible because where we live is close to our school it's close to our workplace it's close to our church and we have a few convenience stores around where we can just pick up a few things and then when we need to go like to the store store to get something that's when we can now take the bus and everything so you want to make sure that that happens for you most times the offices already have the eater on during the winter so on, on campus your classes are probably warm uh, many your workplace is probably warm as well so if you have a car i think you'll do fine if you don't have a car i think you'll cope as well <laughs> just dress up well for the weather get good winter jackets and you know just wear two to three t-shirts <laughs> just dress well for the cold and you'll be fine number three i would say cultural differences as much as it is good because it sort of exposes you to other people other cultures and all of that i feel like sometimes it can be a burden because sometimes it's hard to understand some cultural nuances sometimes it's, it's hard to communicate with like people from other places whose first language is not english and so sometimes it's like it's like tough <laughs> it's tough and then sometimes things that you consider joke that people from your country will probably understand when you say it when you say it sometimes other people are looking at you like so most times you want to be careful so that you don't offend people so yeah for me i think cultural differences is both a blessing and a curse it's good and it's also bad number four healthcare in this country is not straightforward getting healthcare in this country god maybe it's better maybe it's better in like some provinces or better in some cities i don't know but from my experience from the experience of people that i know even in other provinces healthcare is not that straightforward like first of all to get a doctor like a family doctor because you have to get like a gp or like a family doctor you know and all of that all of that to get that <laughs> i know somebody who, who has been on the list for quite some time like so like it takes a while to even get that it's not easy it's not even easy it's not straightforward the best thing as a student is to make sure that if your school has um, some healthcare plans or anything take advantage of it insurance for healthcare in school try to pay for it it would save you a lot of stress in my opinion um also my school has a clinic there are some nurses there and then sometimes there are doctors most times the nurses are always there so that way it's easier then when they now need you to like do stuff then they will now refer you to like the hospital hospital and then it's not easy to get drugs as well probably need to get a letter from the doctor like a prescription notes from the doctor before you can get drugs except if it's like off the counter meds like maybe tylenol or if you want to get like some meds <laughs> also there's something that my school has um that really helped me last year it was like virtual telemedicine thing i paid for it and i'm glad that i did it because sometimes it was easy for me to just um have a video chat with a nurse practitioner you know do your consultation and they can do some base level or surface level um diagnosis that helps so yeah if your school has any health thingy and you know that your health is not that stable <laughs> just try to take advantage of it in my opinion i think that's definitely a disadvantage there should not be too many formalities in court around it like let people have access to doctors but they are even understaffed too so let's not even talk about that <laughs> let's not talk about that because let me not see anything the last thing i'll talk about is the tax system in this country <sighs> it's unbelievable you pay tax on literally everything and sometimes i just find it very annoying i understand you know that you know taxes used for our benefits you know yada 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 <laughs> but still ah kilo di 
like many times when you see like really nice things and you're like oh let me get it oh it's not that expensive let me just get it you just get there oh you have to pay tax on it <laughs> what you saw on the counter is not what you're paying and then you are now it just messes up your whole calculation and it's just annoying and some provinces don't pay a lot of tax um i think are better for instance just just five percent i think and i think that is even they don't have to pay anything on certain things i can't remember but in my province it's like 15 percent and so you are paying tax on literally everything every single thing even if you buy something that's like one dollar you will still pay that tax on it and that just eats into your expenses in a way because it accumulates overall coming to canada to study is a good opportunity if you have the opportunity i think that it's a good thing even if you don't intend to um live in canada after study i mean it's still a good place to come and learn uh meet people um experience a different world view experience a different lifestyle experience a different culture as well and so it is something that i would recommend if you have the opportunity to you should you should it's not bad it is nice it is nice so thank you so much for watching my video it means a lot to me you can see that i'm smiling like i literally cannot stop smiling but i'm so i'm so excited that you watched this video to the end thank you so much if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section i'm here for you i am here for you you can also send me an email probably leave my email address on the screen please subscribe to my channel you know i said it at the beginning i'm saying it at the end again because whatsoever has a beginning also has an end so please subscribe to my channel and uh, you can turn on the notification bell so that whenever i post a video you'll be aware you'll be notified you understand anyway thank you so much thank you so much see you in my next video bye